Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are talking about the guaranteed ultimate team of the season, SBC, that is supposed to be coming out today in FIFA Ultimate Team. I know earlier today, earlier on Tuesday, we had the uh, deluxe SBC release, but whatever this thing, deluxe team of the season so far guaranteed. Basically, this gave us a guaranteed Premier, a guaranteed top five league tots card a lot of people just did this today it caused some market movements and i want to talk about uh the spc that should be coming today now it hasn't been released into the code just yet we haven't seen any tweets about an ultimate team of the season guaranteed spc uh coming out in fifa ultimate team um today but this spc was released last year so a lot of people are thinking and i think as well myself that it is going to come again this year as well. The Ultimate Tots Guaranteed SBC. And I'm pulling it up right now on Footbin. Um, I'm pulling it up at the moment to see. Uh, the Ultimate Tots Guaranteed. I'm going to look back at last year in FIFA 19 and talk to you guys about what this SBC required and what this SBC did to the market. So this was an 87 overall squad with one Tots player and a 70 rated or 70 chemistry so it was it was 87 rated with one tots card which if we have learned anything so far this year from sbcs is that um sbcs this year are more expensive than last year if we look at the trends from stuff like you know if we, if we talk about some of the guaranteed tots sbcs from last year to this year or some of the um other you know sbc requirements that we've seen on some squads this year for players have been a lot higher than in years past so we've already i think the highest um premier league tots sbc was the the guaranteed premier league tots sbc i think was 88 rated is that correct that was the first uh, the second guaranteed tots that we got so premier league tots uh no uh pl tots guaranteed pl tots sf guaranteed that's what this one was uh, earlier this year, we had the Premier League Tots SF Guaranteed SBC. This was an 88 rated squad with 70 chem. So if they made this squad 88 rated with 70 chem, I feel like today they would make the Guaranteed Ultimate Team of the Season squad um, 87 rated or 88 rated or above with 70 chemistry as well. And that's going to be an expensive SBC because of A, it's 88 rated. And a lot of the SBC fodder has started to push up in price already. And B, and as 70 chemistry required. So that means you're going to have to have some center backs. You're going to have to have goalies. You're going to have to have the position players that you can't uh, get, get away with not having with a chemistry, or a lower chemistry requirement. So what you're starting to see is a lot of the, uh, a lot of the high rates are rising today. A lot of them are still rising. A lot of them are still stupidly expensive at the moment, especially on the lower end of things. Uh, Jean Moutinho today, when the the um, deluxe pack came out, is this guy still 7K? This guy's still 6,000 coins. He was 8K in the first hour today after these the deluxe was released. People go absolutely crazy for these guaranteed uh, player packs. When you get a guaranteed player, people go absolutely nuts for these. That's not going to change for today if the tots uh ultimate tots guaranteed does come out i'm expecting 88 rated and i'm expecting one team of the season maybe even two team of the seasons if they think that this is going to be a step above uh the premier league tots so we will see what they exactly want to do on that but i do want to talk to you guys about um the high rated fodder at the moment because fodder is very high in price especially on the lower end the lower tier 83s are all 3,000 coins apiece because of the upgrade SBCs. 84s are all 5K and above. 88s are 9K. 86s are up 3 to 4K a card. They're like 16, 17K, most of them. 87s are 22, 23. 88s are 25K. These are prices that we're used to seeing throughout most of the year when there's a lot of SBCs that are out. And with the, the, um, the Deluxe Tots SF guarantee that came out today, really pushed a lot of these up because it required an 86 rated squad and people are also starting to get ready and buying up this high rated fodder for an expected rise today for the ultimate tots guaranteed sbc so do i think you can buy some of this stuff 
if you're gonna buy anything, make sure it is a very good linking, very good nationality, um, and then it's not up a ton. Like, you know, maybe a guy like Laporte, 24,000 coins for this card. He was, he was 18 to 20K earlier this week. But this is the type of card that if there is an SBC today that is 88 rated or above that requires 70 chemistry for the ultimate tots guaranteed, this would be the type of fodder that would still go higher. A guy like this, a guy like Scriniar, your center backs, your outside wing backs, not outside wing backs, outside wings, Bernardo Silva, if the, if the SBC requires a right wing, that would be a big card that could go up in price a lot. Um, and then your center mids, your center backs, and I already, I already mentioned center backs, but center mids, center backs, and then the outside wings um, and outside backs, if they're not stupid overpriced already, will be very, very good for the SBCs that come out today. Even a guy like Parejo, who is showing here as 17K, because a lot of formations have just pure center mids. Parejo, look at this graph boy, bounces around all the time. Look at this, 14K, boom. 17k boom down to 14 back at the 15 16 he was down to 13k earlier this week now he's already up to 17 or maybe even 19k that might have been an undercut but this is the type of card today that if you see the SBC come out uh you're gonna see a spike in this card's price around the hour to two hours after the guaranteed would come out so like Laporte right there for 23.5 I'm not investing in this stuff because it's not me I've got enough in the club that I could do the ultimate tots guarantee if I need to uh, when it comes out today. So I'm going to do that. But if you need a club stock, I would definitely club stock. If you see the SBC pack has been added to the code on Twitter, that's what I would say. Um, go ahead and club stock some of these items. I would maybe wait until then just in case if EA does not drop a ultimate tots guaranteed SBC and they use this SBC as our guaranteed for this week, People in this game are going to be livid. I'm telling you, it's already not a great start to the week with these eight, with the upgrade packs that have come out. A lot of the community is not happy with that. But if they don't release a guaranteed Ultimate Tots SBC, I think this community is going to just let loose and be ticked off, which rightly so, man. Rightly so. We all expected it. We got it last year. This was unexpected. Uh, it's kind of cool, right? It's just It seems like a way for EA to drain more coins off the game. And they have another chance to do that today with the with the ultimate tots guaranteed speaking of draining coins off of the game as i'm showing you these cards that are crazy high in price 85 sule now this is a guy that's always used for sbcs right he's always expensive because of the german links there's not a lot of center backs that link uh in the uh bundesliga and you know he links to high rated players like neuer like um you know maybe um Kimmich or Coutinho, some of those guys you can get Bayern links to. Very linkable card as an SBC fodder player. Um, these types of cards, and since they're so expensive, if the Ultimate Tots Guaranteed does come out today, this is a perfect opportunity and a perfect buying window for you guys to take a look at and to start buying if you want to for your team or for Thursday flips, buying out of pack special cards and team of the seasons. I did this exactly today. I'm gonna to show you right now what I did today with Marquinhos and a couple other Tots cards. Now I'm only making quick flips out of these because I know there's an, another SBC could be coming today. So I'm not selling these Tots cards tonight. Um, yeah, I've got a couple lazy sales already, but I'm not focused on selling these because I think they could, um, um, I'm, I'm waiting until the, the actual pack code is released so that we have that info for sure. But you can see Marquinhos today was like 220, 230,000 coins uh, in the morning, right? 224 to 230 on the PlayStation, right? Before the deluxe SBC came out. He dropped down right when the SBC came out to 200,000 coins. I bought like six or seven of them right around 200,000 coins because I knew this guy is going right back to 220, 230K. He's a rare card. He's very usable, very used, good links. He gets those League Un links and the Brazilian links with a lot of people having Militao, Allison, Allen. Brazilian links are just everywhere right now at the moment in squads. And I bought him at 200K today, right? And he's back up to 230, basically, 225 to 230. I'm making a nice little 10K a card right there. Easy peasy, uh, lemon squeezy. Actually, I'm making more than 10K a card. Um, that's, that's like 15K a card, GG's. 
Uh, GG's. Wow, that was awesome. I did not realize how good that was today. I also bought Awar. Uh, Awar was like 270 earlier uh, on Tuesday morning. He's back to 260 now, so he hasn't recovered all the way. But he was 270. He went down to 240. I think I bought four or five of them at like 240, 237 to 240. And that's like my whole entire transfer list right now. That's where my my cards are at. You can see some of them are here. I've got some lazy sales. I got this one Basaka at 160 today. He was like 180 this morning before the SBC, and I got a lazy sale at 197 on bid, by the way. Um, but yeah, you can see I've got some lazy Marquinhos. I think all these actually had shadows on them. That's why they sold. But regardless, if you're looking to buy some cards for your weekend league team, if you're looking for that last bit of panic on some of these cards that have already risen a lot already, like Neymar, Team of the season, Neymar is 5.5 mil. This guy's up like 300K from where he was. He's 5.5 five right now. Um, maybe look for a bit of panic on some of these cards today when the guaranteed comes out. I wouldn't expect to see a ton of panic on cards like that. What I would expect to see is maybe more panic on a guy like this. And this is the guy that you would want to be investing in if we're switching from team buying to investing. If you would see this guy at like 360, 370K, this guy's going to be well over 420, 430,000 coins once the weekly comes. This guy actually might be uh, like 350, 450, 460. That's how high he went last weekend. This is a very rare card, and a lot of people like that. Lala. Again, outside backs are huge. Hakimi. I'm a big fan of Hakimi this week because of the links to Hummels. A lot of people are going to get Hummels in their reds from Ultimate Team of the Season. And this is a pretty, pretty good card. Hakimi's a solid card. I'm a little off on the price range. I think he's like 180 and 170, 180. If you see this guy drop, he was 160s earlier today. And now you can see he's getting bids at 170. If you would see this guy drop 10, 15, 20K, he could be in for a really nice bounce this weekend because of those links. That's the kind of stuff you can think about this week. The outside backs, the midfielders, right? What? And honestly, I would focus on almost primarily team of the season cards. For this week's Thursday flipping, I almost would focus primarily on these TOTS cards because these are the cards that everybody wants to play with right now. They're cheap. They have juiced team of the season stats, right? Marquinhos, look at those stats. Awar, look at those stats. And one reason, one way you can tell is if these cards rise, if these guys are going to rise for Thursday or not, is look at how many games they have played and look if they rose last weekend. Savonier went from 65 k at 80,000 coins. That's up 20,000 coins a card and you have 8,000 coins of tax or 4,000 coins of tax at 80K. He was down to 67K earlier this week. He's 70 right now. If this guy would go back to 60K tomorrow, if there's some panic selling because people need to do, need to do the ultimate tots guaranteed or even if there's just panic selling in the morning, this would be a guy I would look at at 60K and then honestly, 60K on both consoles. That's an undercut right there at 62 60K on both those consoles looks great for me. Um, and then honestly, just do a little bit of research, right? I would focus on the Bundesliga, the Prem, La Liga, and Ligue 1. I would not really focus on Serie A. Cards in there, that was just not really a hype week. The out-of-packs cards, though, seriously, the out-of-packs cards in these squads should do pretty well this week. Again, it's got to be usable. It's got to be linkable. Think about what people did this week, too. They got the Modric SBC in their club. You know, you might see... Ramos is already up. Carvajal Hall could bounce, actually, even though he's in packs. After rewards on Thursday, he could do pretty well. And then some of these Premier League cards are just very, very cheap as well. Um, I was looking at somebody today. Oh, Wambasaka. Big fan of this card, right? A lot of people are starting to use this card at the right back position. He's 160K. I don't know why this guy is so low right now on the PlayStation. He's been 160 all day. All day. Look, he was one. He was 180 this morning, 188, and he's just been 160 since the content drop. Or he was 164. Yeah, I don't know why he's so low right now, but uh, this card I think is a fantastic one for flips this week because these cards are still getting rarer and rarer as they're out of packs. 166 for Wamasaka, and with a shadow as well, 168. Crazy. So if you see these cards drop any more tomorrow, big fan of a lot of these tots cards usable meta and linkable especially at the right back left back maybe right mid left mid and some center mid positions look at the ones what, what cards do you see in the weekend league a lot those are the cards you might want to get interested in right i think i said jamie vardy might be a good flip too 379 000 coins for this card uh he was 420k last weekend 
He went down to 350 earlier uh, this on the weekly sell-off. Vardy right now is 370. You could very easily find this card being panic sold um, tomorrow when the SPCs come out. This guy could very easily be 350, 350,000 coins, 340, 350, and that would be a perfect time to buy into some stuff. So if you're looking to buy cards for your weekend league team, and it's some of these out of packs uh, team of the seasons, I would definitely look at some of these icons as well. Icons are not out of the question here. People will panic sell icons uh, this week or tomorrow, today, with the guaranteed coming out, they will they will panic sell some of these cards in order to go do an SBC. So around the 6 p.m. window as well, if there's a card that you want for your squad, maybe you want this Moments Makalele, very good CDM, right? Maybe this is a card that you start looking at and you get interested in. Maybe you even want to buy somebody like a Moments Rio, right? Uh, Moments Rio was 1.15. He was 1.05 on the weekend league sell-off Sunday night. He's now 114. Maybe you catch a couple listings under 1.1 mil tomorrow and you have a chance to grab them at a cheaper price uh, with everybody being focused on the ultimate tots guaranteed today. After this SBC comes out, after the ultimate tots comes out, you're going to want to look at these cards from like 6 to 8 p.m. UK is when you're going to see most of the panic selling, most of the listing and the prices dropping lower. Once everybody finishes that ultimate tots guaranteed, they're going to go start buying cards back up. They're going to go start purchasing those cards for their team, whether it's an in-packs tots like Sancho or an out-of-packs tots like uh, Hyunmin Sun. You're going to see these cards start to creep up because people are going to start buying their weekend league teams and get ready uh, because people have been buying their teams before, uh, you know, they've been investing and buying teams actually before weekend league rewards because they know that's when cards start to rise. So they start to buy cards beforehand and try to get ahead of the game. So that's some stuff to look out for today on the market because i think that since a uh, high rated fodder is so pricey right now and ea is really taking a lot of coins off this game that's why i'm really i'm really stressing to you guys that i want you to focus almost as gold is out of packs that's why he's really high i really want you guys to focus on um cards that are under 500,000 coins if you're trying to make coins through flipping and i want you to focus on the panic selling when that ultimate tots spc does come out today at 6 p.m uk when it should be coming out again watch out for the foot watch tweet on twitter all that kind of stuff it might be out by the time you're watching this video but that is something uh to keep watch out as well for and make sure that it is actually there so icons team of the season cards out of packs specials you can look at some other areas in the market maybe some foot birthdays maybe some headliners maybe some other types of out of packs cards um but the really big thing today is um just the team of the season cards focus in that area and one thing we are getting today is team of the week nobody's talking about this but we're actually going to get another set of team of the week cards team of the week moments are returning today so it's going to be a team of the week based on um a prior tots or a prior team of the week squad back in a previous fifa so it's not going to be a live squad it's going to be a team of the week moments uh, and that does come out today. So we're going to have more supply on informs. If you haven't sold some of the informs in your club, I would get them out um, just because you don't really need informs for SBCs anymore. You just need TOTS cards. So you can just get those out. TOTS cards are way cheaper and way more available and higher rated anyway. So cash out on your informs if they're inflated already uh, before 6 p.m. today when a new Team of the Week squad is going to come out afoot. So that's what I'm feeling today, boys. Hopefully an 88 rated SBC, one TOTS. With low chemistry, if EA wants to be nice, drop it to an 87 maybe. But we shall see what that SPC is today. Ultimate Toss Guaranteed. It's going to be a fun one. Everybody's going to go after it again because of the Neymar, the Mbappe, the Messi, the Ronaldo. Everybody you're going to be able to pack through this SPC. It's going to be massive. It's going to be huge. A lot of market movements because of it as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.